Okay, I'm going to show off some uh, canvas designs. Um, most of them are quite compact and some of them are quite advanced. Uh, so we'll just begin with creating a small vehicle for them. Uh, try and keep the uh, steering wheels as close to the mass point as possible. Uh, which is over here appro approximately. Uh, this design is quite easy and with the wing panels you will get extra speed. Like that. Uh, then we'll jump to the actual base of the cannon. We're going to use the steering uh, block for rotation in the left and the right direction. And then we're going to use a hinge for the actual uh, pitch rotation. Then we have the actual cannon. Uh, I would put the rotation block for like Q and E and then, and then shift and control for the pitch. It's easy as well, like you keep your hand on the left and you on the left side of the keyboard and you control the vehicle with the right one. So let's see here. For the first design we're going to use no exploits or uh, glitching to create the projectile. Uh, it's always good to keep the block in the same direction as in the same direction as the cannon. So we put it like that. Then at the base you would need to put a grabber beneath it, so hold it in place. Uh, when you apply the bracer you need to put it at the base of the cannon, rather than put it, it uh, on the base of the hinge, because sometimes it won't uh, turn with the axis of the pitch, instead of uh, turning, it will instead turn with the rotation of the bottom block. And then to hold the bomb in place, you will you will need first the holder, then the bomb, and then you need to insert a grabber instead of the holder. This will just keep the bomb in place. Uh, bind the grabber to C, which is the same binding as the cannon. So with this design, it's quite easy to make. It doesn't have the maximum output of the effect because there is a distance between the cannon and the actual projectile, uh, uh, projectile uh, box, if you would call it, or block. So this design is uh, quite easy if you don't want to rely on glitches and exploits instead, because that might be patched out in the future. So for the next design we're going to use uh, the maximum output of the cannon. Uh, when you want to insert something like this, uh, when it w puts up a warning of the intersection, just move the mouse quickly over the block instead and just try and insert it in a way. Because the actual limitation won't load in fast enough for you to um, apply the block itself. And always try to remember not to apply the block in a downward angle like this because it will weld in the bottom block or in this case the, uh, uh, the panel beneath it. So put it as in the same direction as the projectile. And the same time as before put the brace at the base of the cannon. Uh, this time, uh, to insert the bomb, we're going to use exploits like the insertion again. Uh, so find a spot where you need to insert the grabber and just move uh, the mouse forward and back. Uh, you, won't, you might not uh, get a successful insertion in, in the first time, but it will work. With this design, the range is uh, quite a bit much further, as you could see. Um, sometimes the block itself breaks. It always breaks, 
but uh, sometimes it uh, breaks from the actual projectile, so the range is further. Uh, one thing you can do is uh, build a block above the actual projectile, like this, and put a grabber on it. Uh, this is generally better for the first design, uh, because then you get uh, better stability and the desync of the uh, grabbers and the cannon isn't, uh, doesn't affect the projectile as much. Because with the other design, the sometimes the grabber beneath it will activate and the angle of the projectile will get worse because it will hit with the cannonball at a at the top angle of the block so it will go in a downward angle but with this design uh, it will become quite bulky and heavy instead so for the last design we're going to use a quite a compact one instead uh, as the same as the last one, you need to do some glitching or exploit. Uh, you want to go one block further. As the first design, you will have one block, uh, one block dif um, distance between the cannon and the projectile itself, and then we're going to use a grabber to insert between the cannon and the block. It's much easier to attach the limited block uh, when you're hovering around nothing. If you go from a block slot instead of uh, just nothing, uh, the limitation have already loaded, so it's much harder to insert it. And as the same with the bomb, find the spot where it needs to go and just insert it. So with this design, the actual projectile is really small in comparison with the other designs. But this design is really unreliable because of the desync with the uh, grabber and the cannon. Uh, with the desync, I mean that the grabber will release from the cannon's base uh, and then fall, like uh, not not far but enough to make that the cannonball might hit the uh, actual bomb part instead. So that time was quite a good uh, activation. The range will vary uh, quite a lot with this design. So let's see if we can find the desync. Yep, like that. Uh, this will happen like every fifth time with this design. So I would normally try and keep using the other designs. The other designs are more bulky and stuff like that, but the range and accuracy is better. Uh, but yeah, this will have to do with the designs. Uh, I might come up with new ones and yes, I will keep you posted.